All right, so this problem deals with uh, two types of barrel units that uh, apparently existed in the 1920s in the United States. According to the problem, anyway, I've never heard of this. They seem to be obscure units. But uh, the point is, uh, one apple barrel, as it's called, uh, is equal to about 7,056 cubic inches. And one cranberry barrel is equal to 5,826 cubic inches. Uh, so what this problem asks us is if someone were to sell 20 cranberry barrels of goods to someone who mistakenly believes uh, they are receiving uh, apple barrels, what is the discrepancy in the shipment volume, uh, in liters anyway? So first off, let's find out how many cubic inches uh, 20 barrels of either of these units would be before we try and find the discrepancy of that if the if uh, these are values in cubic inches and we're going to convert to 20 of the units either way. So first let's solve for um, the volume, I'll call it V sub A, the volume of 20 apple barrels. So that's going to be uh, 20 times uh, 70, 56 cubic inches. And this is equal to about uh, 100 and 41,120 cubic inches. And let's also solve for V sub C, uh, the volume of 20 cranberry barrels, or again, 20 times uh, 58, 26 cubic inches. And plugging this into your calculator, this is equal to 116,500 and 20 cubic inches. Now let's find the discrepancy, or I'll call that uh, delta V, or the change in the volume, uh, which is going in the, and the change in the volume is going to be equal to, or the discrepancy in volume, rather, is going to be equal to uh, V sub A minus V sub C. I'm starting with V sub A first, because we're looking for a distance here. And uh, the volume of 20 cranberry barrel, or the volume of 20 apple barrels, is clearly much larger than the volume of 20 uh, cranberry barrels. The apple barrels are larger. So now let's just simply subtract these values from each other. So that's 141,120 minus 116,520. And uh, the discrepancy we get for this is it uh, turns out to be. Uh, 24,600 cubic inches. So that is our discrepancy between uh, 20 cranberry barrels and 20 apple barrels. But the problem asks us to, uh, to find the discrepancy in liters. So let's take this volume for cubic inches and turn it into liters. Um, so first off, let's convert inches into centimeters. I'm going to do that first because... There is a very simple conversion between liters and cubic centimeters, uh, but first we'll have to get inches into cubic centimeters to begin with. So let's start off with uh, 24,600 inches, cubic inches, and let's convert that into centimeters. So there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch. Uh, 2.54 centimeters for one inch. And we're dealing with cubic units here, so let's cube the whole thing. And now this will have converted it into cubic centimeters. And now let's use the conversion rate between cubic centimeters and liters. And so that is for every one liter, that is 1,000 uh, cubic centimeters. All right, there we go. And now just simply do the simple chain link conversion. Plug it into your calculator. Do whatever you like to do. And we get an answer of about 403 liters.